In this video, we will cover basic operation of our SCARA and SCARA Mini printers. Once connected to your printer, you should start by testing it by running the home all command or running the object placement program. While the SCARA print area is cylindrical, the print area is still in an X, Y, and Z grid format. Marked on the table, you can see a coordinate system. On the bottom right, for the coordinate that is tilted 45 degrees, the coordinate is X negative 400 and Y positive 400. This coordinate is programmed into our home all file as well as our object placement file. In the machine status window, it also tells you what the head position is currently at all times. The home all file can be edited through settings, system editor, finding the home all file and editing it. Shown here, after the machine homes, it has a move head command to X negative 400 and Y positive 400. The object placement program calls G28, which runs the home file, and then moves the Z down to zero on the move headline. These values in the home file and the object placement program can be changed, but be sure to save the values and back up the files if you are planning to change them. We are now going to run the object placement program to adjust the extruder height. This will bring the Z car all the way down. Be sure to not crash the nozzle into the surface you are printing on. The Z axis has considerable torque. Do not place any bodily parts underneath the nozzle while it is lowering. Once the Z car has lowered down all the way, you can adjust the extruder height so it is one to two millimeters above your printing surface. On the machine control tab, you can use the head movement commands to figure out what position it is in. This will help you decide where to place your objects in slicing software. This movement is reflected in the machine status tab, which always shows the current head position. Now we will talk about limit switch placement and the maximum Z travel distance. With the printer homed, it believes it has 400 millimeters of travel distance on the Z axis. By hitting the Z negative 100 button multiple times, this will bring the Z axis all the way down to zero and will not go past that. To increase the Z height, we need to move the limit switch farther up the rail. You should be using a tape measure to see how far it is actually being moved. In this case, we are moving it up 10 centimeters, which is 100 millimeters. We will now open the config file, which is under settings, system editor, and config.g. The setting we want to change is under the maximum axis travel distance, which is M208S0. Since we moved the limit switch up, 100 millimeters, we will increase this value, which is currently 400, to 500. We will then save the file and then reboot the board. After homing the Z and then measuring the maximum travel distance from the bottom of the Z car to the top of the base of the machine, it is approximately 530 millimeters. Now we will bring the Z axis all the way down. Because heights have been changed, there is risk of the extruder crashing into the print surface. Ensure that the extruder is far enough up in its securing bracket that this does not occur. Now if we bring the Z limit switch down and rehome the machine, it still thinks its maximum travel distance is 500, as that is what is programmed in the configuration file. Currently, there is only about 220 millimeters between the bottom of the Z car and the top of the base. If a print program was started, the machine would home and then the Z would travel down 500 millimeters. This will cause it to crash into itself, potentially causing damage. Do not do this. Since the distance of the bottom of the Z car to the top of the base was 220 millimeters, we will set it slightly less than that to 200. Now when we home Z, it will display a value of 200 rather than 400 or 500. Adjusting the Z height will increase your print speeds by not having to wait as long to home when printing small objects. As a small side note, when rebooting the machine, the head position is lost and all axes must be rehomed for full movement. One of the key features of the SCARA printer is multi-object printing. For the tutorial purposes of this video, we're just going to quickly design a cylinder in Fusion 360 and send it to Simplify 3D. In Simplify 3D, we'll give the object a name, 100mm circle. 
We will then change its position manually by typing it in. We will set X to negative 400 and Y to positive 400, which is where the machine finishes homing. We will then make two more copies of the object and place them nearby. We will set circle 2 to X negative 400 and Y positive 200, and circle 3 to X negative 400, Y zero. For sequential object printing in Simplify 3D, you need to add a separate process for each object. For further help on object design and slicing tutorials, please watch the videos on our 3D Potter tech support channel. There are also hundreds of videos online that can help you with Fusion 360 or Simplify 3D. Now that we have our three processes ready, we're going to click Prepare to Print, select all objects, and click the Sequential Printing option. You can now view a preview animation of the print. It is a very good idea to view the full animation and that the object or objects will print the way you want them to. We're going to save the file and upload it to the printer. This is under G code files on the printer interface and then pressing the upload G code file button. With the file finished uploading, we are going to run the program. As shown earlier in the video, using an object placement program gets the printer in the correct position to adjust the extruder height. The height should be one to two millimeters above the printing surface. You can use shims to help you set the height. Before running prints, ensure that the nozzle is not clogged and run the prime program for just a little bit to ensure that clay can come out. Depending on what clay type you are using, a wet surface or a wet clay surface can help the clay adhere better. For the first layer, it is a good idea to up the extrusion and then reduce it back down to normal. If the nozzle is too close to the print bed, clay may not be able to come out. Pressure is building up inside the tube, and once it reaches the second layer, all that pressure is released. It may seem like it was over extruding, but that's because it was unable to print the first layer, and it's printing the first and second layers worth of clay all at once. The remainder of the video will just be showing the three cylinder print file, as well as some vases at the end of what the SCARA can print.